Hi, my name is Ryan Ogden, and I'm a Senior Manager for Information Security at Groupon. Uh, for those who don't know Groupon, we're a global e-commerce company across North America, uh, MIA and APAC regions, um, offering discounts and deals on everything from travel to local experiences and merchandise goods. I've been here for about eight years, and my focus is mostly around all of the infrastructure security components. That's network security, endpoint security, vulnerability platform, as well as threat response and threat detect. We're very compartmentalized. We're not a very big security team, but all of the other ancillary engineering and product teams, they have their own stuff as well. So trying to keep a central view of things and do it efficiently and effectively. It just so happened that our MSSP FishTech was partnering with the Sideris component, which is who we use for the MSSP SOC functions, they were partnering with Chronicle to move their platform over to Chronicle. And so the timing actually worked out really well in an unusual circumstance for doing two massive POCs at the same time, it actually worked out really well. We previously didn't have any way to efficiently do any sort of correlation across the environment unless we had a team of five people or so, and all they, all they did was write correlation rules. So the power with the correlation capabilities was something that we hadn't seen. And we had to kind of rethink, um, well, I'd probably say simplify the way we approached threat response, hunting, thing, investigations. I'd rather focus stuff on the things that actually are actionable. And I thought Chronicle was really, really good out of the box of just saying, hey, here's a few things that are probably indicative of worth the time to investigate. And that was, a, that was a huge, huge value for us as well. Being able to use one backend that we share sped up not just the standing up log collections, standing up visibility, standing up response, the ability to look at the traffic patterns between like an endpoint or a user's activity or possibly a public IP. That gave us like instant view of what's going on. And when we introduced the, the EDR component to the environment, then we were able to take it to that next level and not just investigate natively in that tool. We could go over to Chronicle and say, what else is going on? What, what's, what's the rest of the picture that needs painted? And a couple minutes and you're done. There's no presumption, there's no guesswork, there's no needing to, to reach out and wait a day kind of a stuff. You're, you're instantly empowered to have a shot at making a good data-driven decision. So the guesswork is out the window and you can have better conversations and go directly to teams with actionable data as opposed to, hey, I got to set up a time, I got to call, we got to talk tomorrow, that kind of stuff. The delay was gone.